Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. You join me today on a ride up to a place called Petersfield and then we'll climb up Butter Hill and back home. I've no idea how long the ride is. It's one that I haven't done very often. So yeah, let's see how far it is today. Today's ride will head more or less north for about 20 kilometers and then obviously head back down south again for another 20 kilometers. I don't normally ride north and that's because I've got a dirty great big ridge of hills, the South Downs, about four kilometers from my house. So whatever I do today, I've got a lot of climbing going up over the other side and then obviously back and over again on the way home. The weather today is a little on the cold side at seven degrees Celsius and I have a northeasterly wind which is bringing it down to about five degrees Celsius and I'm also riding directly into it so with that and the upcoming climbs it's not going to be easy but I'm going to take it nice and easy and I should in theory have the tailwind when I turn for home This is my favorite part of this route. The trees separate out a little bit and it has a slightly kind of unworldly feel to it. That boys and girls was Kiln Lane. Absolutely terrifying on the way down and a killer on the way up. As you saw, there were lots of people trying to go up it and not doing a bad job of it by the looks of it. Well, I have to make a choice here. I've just come through Berriton and I'm at the little roundabout. So I've got a choice now whether I go that way into Petersfield and that will take me up uh, Langrish Hill 
and Mercury or I can take that road over there and that will take me up um, either Mercury or Harvesting Lane again or I can take this road behind me here and that will take me up through Queen Elizabeth Country Park. The advantage of that is that um, it's all off-road so there's there's no uh, cars or traffic it's completely paved in, in fact it's the old uh, main London to Portsmouth Road that they they stopped using back in the mid 80s or something but the disadvantage is that it's quite steep so it's decision time now Looks like I've decided to do things the hard way. Not that there was going to be an easy way. So uh, I've gone out the back of uh, Western, heading towards East Mian. So that means either Mercury or the Monster Harvesting Lane. I'm tempted to do Harvesting Lane again. The two climbs of Mercury and Harvesting Lane take you more or less to the same place. So the very top of Butzer Hill, which is about 300 meters, but they're very different climbs. Mercury, the climb starts straight away. So it's a gradual, uh, fairly steep ascent for about two and a half kilometers, uh, but Harvesting Lane stays relatively flat for the first kilometre and then the last kilometre is an absolute killer and uh, it's really really steep but the good thing is that when I get to the top um, I do have quite a long downhill all the way home And the other rub of course is that I have to get there first and this Ramsdean Lane is pretty tough as well. There we go, decision made. My second climb up Harvesting Lane in about 10 days. Let's try and enjoy it. Just like last time, 
my strategy is to pace myself take it easy and make it to the top without walking Blimey, there we go, that's Harvesting Lane for the second time in 10 days. And I was thinking that because I'd ridden it 10 days ago, it would have prepared me for how tough it was, but no, it still surprised me with some of those gradients. It really does get to something when you think 9%, 10% is like a birthday present. You know, you're, you're able to spin a little bit more and you're not in danger of falling over. The thing I think that made it um, slightly different than last time is that uh, I am riding my Trek today and the gearing on that is slightly different so I don't think it's as low as my Cannondale. All right. I can enjoy my nice long descent home now. This is actually my fourth ride of the week. On uh, Monday, I went out and did a very fast 25 kilometers on my Southwark Loop. Uh, Tuesday, I did another very fast 25 kilometers on the Southwark Loop, basically trying to push it as hard and as fast as I possibly could. And then yesterday, I went out and did Bevis's Thumb, Harting Hill, back down into Westbourne so that was 40 kilometers and uh, I was on my trek again and that now has a power meter on it so I'm getting empirical power readings from the crank so there's no estimation on Strava or anything what I'm getting is what the power meter is giving me and yesterday I did 90 minutes of cycling with an average power of 200 watts, 205 watts. So today's ride isn't going to have anywhere nearly the same power output as yesterday's and that's basically because well I'm not pushing it quite so hard and I'm starting and stopping setting cameras up and whatnot and uh, so yeah I'm also now within the last two kilometers of today's ride and I've started uh, using that as a bit of a warm down so I'm just pedaling very very lightly very gently uh, and that's flushing all of the lactate out of my legs and uh, it's actually working because I'm not waking up the next morning with uh, achy legs. All in all, a very enjoyable ride, although I did kind of underestimate the distance. I was expecting something closer to about 40 kilometers, when in reality, according to Strava, it's only about 33 kilometers. But at least the climbing was fairly substantial at 412 meters. Harvesting Lane is quite a tricky climb. And hopefully the more I do it, the easier it's going to become, or at least it's going to make me a fair bit fitter. And that brings the week's total to, I've ridden 130 kilometers, 
I've got five and a half hours of seat time and I've climbed 1,216 meters. And that brings the year to 1,184 kilometers ridden. I've got 51 and a half hours of seat time and I've climbed 10,943 meters. The weather forecast for next week is yet again another mixed bag. I suppose it's no surprise being kind of mid-March. The first half of the week is looking like it's going to be fairly sunny, but then from Wednesday onwards, it's going to be wall-to-wall -wall rain. Hopefully I'll be able to get out and continue getting my five hours of seat time and maybe add a little bit more climbing in there as well. Thanks for watching.